All right, we just went through tech. We are at Thunder Valley, Oklahoma. Streetcar Takeover 2022. I think they came here. This is the second time they're here this year, but uh, here we are. I've raced here a couple times in the golf. Been here numerous times. It's always a good time here. The weather should be great for boost. So we'll go around here, check out some of the rides. Should be a lot of fast cars. Don't know if I can drive through here. We're gonna send it. Like I said, I'm all teched in. About to go to the driver's meeting. Shoo. This thing. Ah, dang it. Gorgeous. Love me a good CTSV. Wow, talk about gorgeous. I love blue. A hell of a turbo up there. A little radiator. Um, to start the day off, um, we're actually going to start. All right, guys, we're in the car. Need to get the GoPro on the helmet, but uh, I'm going to go up for some testing. I'm going to try and do, if I can, get four runs in, um, two with the racing line, box plugged in, one doing manual shifting, one doing auto shifting, and then the same without the module. One with manual shifting, one without. See what nets me a better run, assuming all else things are equal um yeah so i got the racing blind box plugged in right now and we're just gonna go send it it's uh it's quite cool out it should be really great the one of the first the very first pass the car went like 780 something in the right lane so aim for the right lane if we can and uh go from there i think uh, there's one other audi on the property but there's no numbers on this car so i don't think that car is racing so i might be like the only uh only Volkswagen out of here racing, which is not uncommon for uh, events out in this part of the United States. So, <laughs> wish me luck. All right, we are in line for some test and tune. Ball's right the first time. Let's Ball get it. Boys, it's been a while. Do our best not to uh, double bulb this guy. I think I lifted early. Guys, to my surprise, not my best 60 foot by any means. I usually average like a 174 ish. My best ever is 17 on the dot. Uh, my best ever eighth mile by far. Usually I run an 84. Boom, 12.5. Best I've ever had. My previous best was 12.64. So almost well, over a tenth off of that. Can I, it'd be really nice. If I get down to a 12.4 today, I'd be great. My highest mile an hour ever was 12.09. So this is right on par with that. Um, I manually shifted. I think I forgot to shift first gear. Or maybe I did a little bit later than I wanted to. I'd have to look back on the GoPro, which I don't feel like doing right now. But I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this test with not manually shifting at all. And I was trying to shift like right before 6,000. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. 
I think it, it might 60 foot better in the auto and then manually shift from that point. I don't know. I definitely need to work on that tree. I don't think they're doing a pro tree for test and tune because like all the other street classes have a pro tree. But I think the index classes are a regular tree. And my class is the last class to go. So I'll, uh, I'll get to know. But I really wanted to test with whatever tree we were racing at so I could dial in. The, the worst part about an auto is dialing in when you let off the brake for it to launch because it takes some time for all that to happen. Anyway, one more go and then they're letting these street cars uh, qualify again, so. shift a, a little early I, I need to remember to go over what shifting technique I'm gonna do because I was gonna let it shift by itself but then I hit it so then I had to keep hitting it hopefully that's a better 60 foot than the last one but I mean I already got a PB that's our second and final test run so I'm already ecstatic for the day I'm out here seeing race cars and uh I, mean, I came here to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to see a new, a better number. So there was just a snake on the track. They're on the, there's a, wow. There's a damn snake. I know we're still in the GoPro, but I'm too excited. A 12.4? Did you guys see that? A 12.4? I'm pretty freaking happy about that. I mean, it's slow, right? But like, that's awesome. Two PBs in one day, and the, and the DA went up since the last one. So to have that, it's pretty freaking sick. I am very happy. Hopefully going to eliminations, we do well. I actually was, you know, we're gonna switch to the phone. All right guys, coming back from the GoPro video. What was I saying? Um, I was talking to the guy about the tree. So for basically the index classes have a certain tree and then everybody, that, like all the tree cars, are all uh, pro tree. So for us, it's basically like a flashlight start, what they call an instant green, which I've never had before, oddly, out of all the drag strips I've been to. So basically you get your first bulb, second bulb, and then there's no middle lights at all. Like the pro tree, you get all the middle lights come on and then green. This one, you just don't, just the middle lights don't come on at all. This a random green light and then you go. So it's kind of like a flashlight start. So that's the only real advantage I'm gonna have. And I've only seen two other cars that are in my class and one ran a 1202 and I didn't get to see the other one run. So um, chances are I won't win unless I get that jump. Um, but I mean, if any car has a better reaction than me physically and doesn't have, uh, you know, like a DSG, DCT type trans, they're, they're gonna get it if they have a regular trans or a trans brake or anything like that. So I don't know what kind of 12 car would have a trans Break. But the, the one car I did see is in a 12 and 11 class, so he's sandbagging real bad. So maybe I can edge him out. If I do get the jump, maybe he'll pass by, break out. I don't know. We'll see. That's racing. But let's get to, to this. Look at that. 12-4. I am freaking ecstatic. My 60 foot, I just can't get down. I think it's because I'm sitting on launch control for so long, maybe. Like I said, I've gotten one sevens before, but uh, yeah, my first eighth mile 7.96 my first seven in the eighth i think it's even faster than my mark seven i think my mark seven my best was a, a 799 which is crazy that was on a vortex standard on 91 i never really got any good runs when i was e85 but 
I'm less than a half a second off. My best time I got in my Mark 7 was uh, 11.99 at, I think, 110 or 111. So I'm literally right there, and I don't even have a tune yet. <laughs> so anybody asking me if I think that DSG is better than a manual, uh, the proof is right here in the pudding. I had so much money in that car, and, and this car weighs so much more as well. And uh, clearly, I'm doing well. <laughs> this is awesome. First race of eliminations. Watch this move on. Yes, sir. Gonna hold the door off it. and go to the next round. Now, Derek Kelly's got to come around. Guys, here we go. Calling up our class. Let's get it. Well, guys, I said I wanted to do two things today. I wanted to make it to the second round, and I wanted to do a personal best, and I've done both already. But here's my class. This is a stick shift car. I'm not sure what's all done to it, but uh, Roush Charge, whatever that means. And you got me. I got my buy. We're not in the right order right now. We got this truck, which I also have no idea what's done to it. It's got a fuel cell in the back and it's very loud. This is a nitrous tire manual car. Um, this is an auto car. Manual car. How a C7 makes it into the 12 class, but another manual car. This bad boy. And then this truck is also in this class. He's in the 11 0 and 12 0 class, I think. Yeah. Can't see shit in there. Looks to be a. Fast set up. Anyway, the Mopar with nine. So the main car I was worried about just knocked himself out. It was that truck. Uh, he got 11.99, so he knocked himself out. I'm lining up from a buy run, which is great because now I get to play with this tree. Where is the damn? Okay, so we'll go here. Get on. That's gonna be interesting. 
I didn't even get to try and use. Well, I'm going to have to do something that sucks. And it's called double bulbing. So usually you go up to the first bulb, wait for the guy, goes to the bulb, and then you guys both go to the next bulb. Because launch control takes so long to get on and build to be ready to go, I, even if my launch control would have worked right, I wouldn't have been ready for how quick that light went green. And all these cars are real-wheel drive, so they have to do a burnout. So I'm gonna have to get up once they do their burnout and start creeping up, I'm going to have to go ahead and double bulb, which kind of sucks, but I have a feeling I'll be getting lined up with a manual car and they can launch or react a lot quicker than I can because the G you have to wait for the DSG to, you know, actually go. So that'll be interesting. That was kind of a, kind of sucks. I kind of blew that run. Well, not really. Just my reaction time should be way off, but I shifted a little late on the first gear actually i don't think i even i think i clicked but it, it didn't double shift it shifted on its own which is good because in like old like mark fives or mark sixes if you shifted when the car went to thank you sir it would actually shift twice so let's see what we got here uh, 12 5 109 uh, not bad not great i guess I should have went to the other damn lane. Damn it. I'm gonna bust a Yui. That was. Yeah. Reaction time 4.8. 4. 60 foot 1.84. Eighth mile 8.0. Yeah. 12.5 at 109. So. Ain't upset. It's still better than my best run before today. We just did the chip draw. I got the Mustang. I believe it's a manual. It says Roush Charge. I don't know what that means, but we finna find out. Boys, here we go. Let's see how this fucking goes. Couldn't get in the freaking boost! Oh! I really wanted to double bulb him, but I was waiting because they, they normally don't even let you roll up until the guys are off the track. Those guys are, weren't off the track yet, so I was waiting on them. When he told us to go, it was just all bad timing. I was not prepared for that wrench thrown in my little plan. Um, but one thing I wanted to try, because you can get in launch control, I didn't realize, well, I knew, I knew this from a while back, but I never really paid attention. 
So I usually just go full throttle on the gas and it takes you like four grand and you can ease it up like halfway and go to like three grand. Well, listen to the sound difference of launch control. You guys can see the RPMs, right? I hope. Let's go to 3,000. And if you go to four grand, it's a lot different. So I really, I kind of wanted to test that the 3,000 RPM launch control is my theory, and I want to try this on the street somewhere, that if you use the 3,000, let me take this damn, the 3,000 wouldn't have, in theory, in my mind, I don't know if I'm correct, 3,000 would be, um, the trans wouldn't have to slip the clutches as much off the launch, therefore you get out of the hole quicker. Whereas 4,000, it's slipping, it's having to slip more to catch up to that RPM without, you know, destroying shit or whatever. And uh, yeah, so that's just like my little theory. I wanted to try that, that. I wanted to double bob and get up on the 3,000 RPM and give it a shot, but uh, I didn't even get into launch control at all. So, <laughs> uh, I need to like, I wish I had like a local drag strip. You know, all of them are like an hour for me back in Virginia, which isn't bad at all, really, honestly. But uh, their tests and tunes are normally like, I think Thursday nights, which I, can, I just can't do that on a school night, on a work night. And uh, eighth mile, where we are, where I am right now in uh, Texas for till Christmas, um, they're like never open. They haven't been open since I've been there. I've been there about a month now. So I was hoping to go there like every weekend and play around and have fun. I was really looking forward to bringing my car out here for that reason. And that track's never open. They're having a little event this weekend, tonight actually. And I decided to come out here instead because I like Oklahoma. But oh well. We'll go back and we'll get some of the uh, final runs in these uh, other classes. Oh, I was your thing. I was like, damn, when am I ever going to be able to t get to test this? Next week, we're doing a half mile and hopefully be able to get more than how many runs I get here today? Four. So if I get four runs there, I can try different, uh, different things. So stay tuned for that video next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday ish. I get a lot of homework. So Sundays, it all depends on how much homework I got and how much time I got to edit. Anyway, back to racing.